What's up guys and welcome back to Bully It's Today we are back here downtown outside of the preppy boxing gym that we spent a, uh, a little bit of time at yesterday. We threw some hands, threw down a little bit, but uh, this is where our next mission is going to be. It looks like it's upstairs here. Dress appropriately. Dress appropriately. You want me to wear that, that sweater vest there? Aquaberry sweater at the clothing store in Old Bullworth Vale. All right, so we're gonna have to uh, have to go on a little shopping mission here. Looks like we've got uh, we've got a clothing shop right here. Oh, that's a normal shop. Where's the clothing shop though? Let me check the map real quick. We can zoom in. Clothing shop is gonna be up and to the right. So it looks like we can kind of go through this alley here, and uh, we're gonna go get go get suited and booted. I think it's up here. And we go down the main street, but um, yeah, welcome back to Bully. I'm excited to be back. This should be fun. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into today. Looks like this is Aquaberry. Let's go ahead and hello. You know you should try the new Aquaberry vest. Very popular with the better class of students. The better class of students. That's that's really inappropriate to say. Uh, where do I try the vest on at? Over here. Purchase clothes. All right. So we are gonna purchase the uh, the the vest here. All right. I mean, sounds good to me. The Aquaberry vest doesn't look like there's anything else we can we can buy. Oh, there's a sweater. Ooh, okay. Or there's the Bullworth vest. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm just I'm gonna stick with the Aquaberry vest. Hmm. I don't I don't know that I really like you guys all that much, but uh, we'll we'll take it, baby. Here we go. Now we're gonna head on back. Hopefully we're going to be able to get in this secret club or whatever the heck is going on. Are they going to fight me now? What's up, bro? I'm, I'm one of you. I'm, I'm a preppy D-bag. All right. We're, we're back. Let's go up top. The eggs. It's our next mission. Look, there he is. I was wondering if you'd show up, Hopkins. Nice aquaberry sweater. Trey Sheep. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You look a bit like my gardener at home. Yeah, so what? Yes, well, enough about gardeners or any domestic help. Listen, me and the champs were planning a little revenge hit on old hat trick. We don't like what he did to that old Silk Galloway. A chap could have a drink if he bloody hell wants to. So? <laughs> so, my friend, are you, as they say, in? Sure. I guess are you so. English? Well, no, I just speak this way because I'm very insecure. <laughs> You see, my father is a self-made man, so I pretend to be old money, but in fact, I'm really nouveau riche. But less about me, dear boy. Listen, we're going to egg that old codger's house. Cool. Smashing! You go get some eggs and meet me and the chaps back at my house. Why do I feel like we're getting set up here? Buy some eggs and take them to Tad's house. Yeah, I don't know. They're, they're having us buy clothes and they're having us... You know, get get the the to yum yum stuff, market. the eggs, the 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 uh, what's the word I'm trying to look for? The, uh, the the contraband, I guess. I just I feel like they're setting up, setting us up to uh, to get in trouble. So we've got a carton of eggs here for a dollar and fifty cents. Sounds like we can get one of those. One is all we need. I would imagine if you're going to be egging somebody, more than twelve eggs would be a little bit more appropriate. But uh, I'm not going to judge. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to Tad's house and, uh, man, I don't know. I just don't think we can trust these guys, but I guess we gotta do what we gotta do. Old Bullworth Vale is gonna be over here on the left. I really don't know if I like who you're turning into, Jimmy. You were always kind of a bad kid. We don't want to take a right yet, I don't think. You're always kind of a bad kid, but I feel like you stood for what's right, and you protected the nerds and stuff like that, and now we're cozying up against the enemy. I mean, technically, that could be a good decision here. Technically, you know, the saying goes, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. But at the same time, I just don't know. Uh, I don't know that I like it. So here we go. This is where all the old money lives. This is where all the preppy kids live. Look at this. I'm supposed to be working with them, and they're shoving me in the back as I'm walking in. Oh, he's got a cute doggy, though. Hello, doggy. I think that dog was about to bite me. Got the eggs, Hopkins? You bet. Then give them to me. Take them. Smash it. Now tell me, Hopkins. Is it true you said I was inbred? 
No, because First Cousins is legal, my friend. Legal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and just because my elder brother doesn't have a chin and ended up in a lunatic asylum, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Whatever, Tad. Your family is your business. Don't lie, Jimmy. You said Tad was probably a hermaphrodite with that much inbreeding. A hermaphro what? Don't act dumb. God, I hate you this You said his kid. mom was also legally his aunt and that he probably had webbed toes. I don't. Well, just only on one foot. <laughs> Tad, you're not gonna take that kind of crap from this scumbag, are you? You've... You, you've been rude about mommy. Let's get this, Papa. <sighs> Gary, Gary, Gary. Find a way out of Tad's yard. All right. Well, uh, looks like the gate is locked. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to just keep on running, keep on running, keep on running, keep on running. Try to dodge. Look at that. Beautiful. That gate's closed. So we're we're getting egged here. This is just great. Bro, I'm I'm just gonna start I'm gonna start doing what I do best and, and Oh shoot. He actually He can kinda throw hands here, huh? Oh shoot. Alright, yeah, he's he's got moves. Okay. Got him. We got dudes up in the second story throwing eggs. Get out of here, bro. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. This guy looks like he's fiddling with the gate. Oh, dear Hopkins. Okay, so he's got the gate key. Oh, shoot. Nice, we got the gate key. Can we just get outside? There it is. Time to run. Got a blast. Preppy respect went down. Can I, uh, can I put my skateboard on? It's not letting me put my skateboard on. There we go. Okay. That was, uh, that was something else. Man, I didn't think we were ever gonna get out of there. I was just gonna fight him until nobody was throwing eggs at me anymore. I had no clue what to do. So it looks like our next mission is, there's one back at the school, and there's one over on the other side of town. Let's go over to the other side of town. Let's see what we've got going on over there. I mean, it definitely didn't end up as I was expecting. I thought they were setting us up from the start. It ended up that Gary was just to blame there, dude. Gary, he's he's still he's still got to stick up his butt for us. I don't know why. It's a little bit frustrating, but here we go. Oh, come hither. This should be interesting. Panty raid. <laughs> Is this the PE teacher? Evening, <laughs> sir. Yo, boy. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. What about you? Well, I'm. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm looking for naughty boys. I, I mean, I'm looking for naughty boys in the wrong parts of town. Uh, uh, what I mean, Hopkins, is that I'm glad to report that in that disgusting store, I did not find one naughty boy. Not one. Well, that's good, sir, because filth like that can really rot a young man's mind. Exactly. That's why I got this research, to check on the danger. Smart. It's good to see a teacher so dedicated to his work, sir. Thank you. No problem. But I'll tell you, Hopkins, I'm quite worn out with all this work. I don't uh, suppose you could do me a favor. What? Well, uh, how do I put this? I'm in charge of the laundry this week, but I got so carried away with my research that I forgot to collect it all at the same time. <laughs> it would be embarrassing to ask for it now. Oh, uh, maybe you could help, but you'll uh, have to be discreet. Discretion is my middle name, sir. Great! So go and collect all the dirty laundry from the, uh, girls' dorm. Okay. And if you get caught, I know nothing about it. I won't say anything, sir. In fact, I'll make it clear that I never saw you coming out of an adult store clutching illicit magazines. Good boy! Now hurry up and bring them to me by the school gates, but... Shh. Dude, this is so disgusting. Are you I'll kidding me right again. now? So you want me to go back to the girls' dorm, and you want me to go collect all their... Okay, yeah, and we're gonna deliver it to the PE teacher. This is, this is just great. Although I thought he was in, I mean, you know, he's kind of, kind of into boys. I didn't, I didn't expect him to want stuff from the girls, you know what I mean? I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens, but, uh, we're just gonna kick, push, kick, push, coast. All the way back to school here. And, uh, like he said, we can't be caught. We gotta be a ghost, bro. 
nobody can know that it was us. So it looks like it's it's inside. Oh, we gotta go in maybe through like a back a back window or something like that. How are we gonna do this? We're gonna go through a ladder? Yo, what? So we're going up like the, the flower vine thing here. Up to a third story window in the attic. And we're gonna have to ooh, collect the pieces of laundry. And we can't be seen by anyone. Are you kidding me right now? This is uh, this is one of the sketchiest things we've done for sure. Okay, get spotted by an authority and figure authority figure in the girls' dorm, and you'll be thrown out. All right. Not too bad. So got something there. Got authority figures walking around here. Might be able to just run past. Looks like we've got something in here. Got that. I'm trying to get back over to the room she just came from. We're good. Here we go. Here we go. Grab this. Better collect that. Run, 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 run. Grab this. I really like your outfit. Thanks, babe. You know. This could work out between us. Get out of the way. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got it. Oh no, dude. No. Bro, no way. We gotta escape the dorm. Are you kidding me right now? Shoot, we can't we can't go out the way we came in. We can't go out the way we came in and there's teachers downstairs. They pulled the fire alarm and everything, bro. This is a joke. This is a joke. Where's the... We got teachers right there. We got a teacher over here. Not happening today, baby! I'm getting the heck out of here. How do I leave? How do I leave? How do I leave? Right here. I'm gone. Dude, that... This is... Take the laundry to Mr. Burton. This is gonna... This is gonna haunt me for the rest... The rest of my my school career, bro. I'm the nasty kid. I'm the nasty kid who went and, and stole the panties out of the girl's store. I hope these are worth all the trouble I just went through. <laughs> yes, thanks for this laundry. Here's some money for your troubles. Enjoy your new scratch and sniffs, bro. Oh my gosh, that that is that is a problem. Okay, we're now violating curfew. I think. Uh, I think that's all we're gonna be able to do for the night. Oh shoot, nope, not today, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and shove you right off of me. Ooh, just grab a whole handful. I'm, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the boys' dorm as is. I don't, I mean, I don't think we're gonna be able to do anything else anyway. We're gonna have to go hit the sheets. Dude, what a day. That was, that was insane. Didn't exactly go as planned, but we're gonna be okay. So let's go ahead and hit the sheets. I don't, we, we gotta take off this preppy top. I don't like the preppy top. We're gonna have to put something else on. This is this is representing something that we are not. So I'm gonna go over to our wardrobe here. Let's go ahead and put. Uh, I mean, I feel like the not the the undershirt. Maybe like the brown jacket. I feel like looks kind of cool. It's called Sammy Bullworth Fest. Bullworth Fest is probably the best. You guys said down in the comments that technically you don't have to wear your uniform at all times, but. I feel like it's it's not a bad idea. So we've got a mission right there in the boys' dorm, but I'm gonna go ahead and head to class first. We're gonna have our first morning class of the day. Not sure what it's gonna be, but uh, as soon as it hits nine o'clock, we should be able to find out. We'll post up outside of the school, and we'll just wait uh, wait for the loadout. Geography class. This is our first time. See what this is about. Your geography teacher. I know you're all enthusiastic and ready to learn. Otherwise, why would you be here? Match the flags to their corresponding province, state, or country before class ends. Hold, release. Whew. I'm a little bit nervous here. Let's let's see let's see how good your boy is. All right, so we've got Italy. Italy is going to no, be over. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. What? How did he say that was incorrect? Are you kidding me? Okay, Germany is gonna be up here. I guess we didn't we didn't like hover over it strong enough to uh, to start. The UK is gonna be over here. 
France with the Eiffel Tower over there. Ireland is over here. All right, Spain is going to be right here. Where's Portugal at? We've got Portugal's flag we can put over here. Oh, shoot. Now, this is where it gets bad. Poland, Switzerland, Greece is over here, right? Yep, Greece is there. Norway is it's somewhere in Scandinavia. Is it here? Yes, let's go. Okay. Uh, Sweden is next to Norway. I'm pretty, pretty sure. All right, not bad. Finland is, is up there as well, right? Okay. Uh, Denmark, Romania, Poland, Switzerland, and Ukraine. Switzerland. Honestly, I don't know. Hmm. A fair guess, but I'm afraid it's wrong. Shoot. Okay. D is this is that Denmark? That's Denmark. Okay. Sorry about that. Poland, Switzerland, Ukraine, and Romania. I feel like Ukraine should be next to Russia, right? All right. So we got that. Romania. I'm guessing we got it right. Poland and Switzerland. Poland's gonna be over Try here. Again. Nope. Switzerland's gonna be over here. Nope. Poland's gonna be over here. I had it right the first time. That's so frustrating, dude. Are you kidding me? So we had two incorrect things there because the game didn't have it in the exact perfect spot. Not bad. Let me know how I did. I I, I haven't spent that much time in Europe to be honest. It's Eiffel Tower hat has been unlocked. It's something that's like I definitely want to do more of. Especially once travel opens up again. I want to I want to get to know the world a little bit better I feel like we could have done better there, but we we did all right So I think uh, I mean honestly, I'm probably just gonna wait for my next afternoon class We could do a couple of tiny jobs. I mean screw it. Let's go do the mission. Hope for the mission is gonna be quick We'll see what happens. I just I, I don't I, I don't like missing classes I really like the classes in this game. I realize it's like it's not a part of the story It doesn't really do anything for you this series would be easier if we didn't go to all the classes, but I just, I feel like, feel like it's cool. Race the veil. Hey, Pete. Where is everybody? Oh, Jimmy, it's you. Yeah? Guess you want to kill Gary now that he's turned most of school against you and got those rich kids to throw eggs at you. Gary will get what's coming to him. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Well, you're sitting around watching TV by yourself like a loser. Someone crap in your bed? What's wrong? Well, for one moment, I had friends. Someone pooping your Cheerios? Moment. You and Gary. Yeah, Gary's a snake, and you're a psychopath. Ah, come you on. You both bullied me mercilessly, but I'll take that as a compliment. I wasn't left out. And now I'm back on my own, and I'm too cool to be a dork, and I'm too dorky to be anything else. You're not on your own. Where is everybody? At the bike race at Old Bullworth Vale. By shiny bikes at the beach. Bike race? Why didn't you say so? Come on. Let's go win this thing, bud. Come on, Petey. We're gonna get that clout up, bro. Let's go clout chasing here. Get a bike. Where could, oh, we got a bike over here, right next to us. Perfect. All right. Ride to the beach in Old Bullworth Vale. Let's go do it, baby. We are, uh, we're gonna go lay the smack down. Your boy is, is a beast on the pedals. Hold up, check this out. Your boy is too cold at it. Let's go. Look at that, hitting them sweet jumps. You pathetic wretches. <laughs> Don't make They've me got laugh. All right, so we're gonna be racing the rich kids again. Here we go. This is like where where NASCAR and stuff started, bro. On the beaches of Daytona. This is Daytona. Let's get it. So we're gonna go on a nice little race here. Did I? Ah, man, we have to turn around here. Oh, what, what? 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 It didn't. It look like it was saying turn around. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. We're gonna be fine. I did figure out how to. How to, what's it called? How to, how to break it's X. Whoa, what? Okay, so I guess that was kind of a tricky situation there. We'll be fine though. There's something on the ground back there we could have potentially picked up, but. I'm not gonna be able to get that in the middle of a race. So we've only got one lap here. One lap to get it done. We just, see what it, doesn't that look like it's saying to turn around? It totally looks like it's saying to turn around. I miss riding, but I need to get a, I need to get a sweet bike again. I used to think I was so cool. There was one time in our neighborhood when I was like, you know, middle school. There was, uh, at the park, we, we had like a really, really nice park near our house that we would ride bikes around and stuff. Oh shoot, ran right into that dude. 
Uh, they were adding new mulch, and they added this giant mulch pile in the, in the street, and it was like a legitimate X Games jump. And we would go down this crazy hill, and then ramp off of this thing, and we didn't really get that high, but it, it was it was cool. I just I missed that like old school being a kid, you know. Only thing you had to worry about was homework and just like hanging out with your buds and just having a great time. That was a, a cool part of life for sure. I wish I remembered more of it. Life, life passed too quick, man. I'm gonna get emotional about a bike here. But seriously, like this, this game brings out kind of that childhood, you know, vibe. It's cool. They definitely, they definitely need to either remake it or make Bully 2. I prefer Bully 2, bro. This game is amazing. I can't believe they haven't, haven't done anything with it. Ooh, look at that sick little, sick little, little drift right there. Looks like we're back at the starting line. Cross the finish line, we are in first place. Bow down, boys. Good job. Sweet win. Come by and see me anytime. I'll have your trophy. All right. We got 15 bucks and lost some respect with the preps. You love to see it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's that. And it sounds like he's got our trophy. Let me see what this trophy business is all about. Yeah, you want to get a C785. Then dismantle it and recouple with a 767 in titanium. Very expensive, but it will make your machine fly. All right. That's what the pros do. Really? I was going to get the 976 because I thought it would make me look important amongst my peer group. A 976? What are you, a girl? Oh, here's the kid who won the race. Hey. You came for your trophy, huh? Yep. Here she is. Beautiful. Nice. Molded plastic, covered in aluminum wrap, with your name misspelled on it. So it's a piece Excellent. of one. Great. Look at this. A bunch of guys whose career aspirations are to work in stores. Fabulous. I love it when people know their place in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, your place in life is in my toilet, you trust fund turd. Oh. Do you even have flushing toilets in your trailer? <laughs> I couldn't imagine it. You guys are a bunch of scumbags, aren't you? What you got? Bring it. Come on. Nice trophy. Here, let me see. Come on. Hey, <laughs> give me that back. That's not going to fly, baby. I'm going to chase you down. You can't take my trophy, bro. All right, get your trophy back from Gord. Where is he at? Where is he? What the heck? He's over here. The red X. I figured we'd see him running or something like that, but let's let's go get him. Oh, we got Oh, shoot. We're late for class. No, I want to go to class, man, but we're already kind of in this. Oh, it hurts me. It hurts me. How about you open these doors and fight like a real man? What the fudge, dude? Knock that dude off the edge, okay. Let's go. Shoot. We 100% uh, I love that we're working with the greasers right now. We 100% missed class, which is very unfortunate. Oh, we got a whole, a whole fight going on here. The whole gang is here. Let's go, baby. Bring it on. I think you pay for this for the rest of your life. No, you won't, bro. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Give me my trophy back, bro. You made me late for class and you stole my trophy. Get out of here. Ooh, the greaser got him. Pick up the trophy. We got it. Bike races have been unlocked. I'm assuming you probably get a pretty cool bike if you end up going through those. Uh, bike race is open from noon to 11 p.m. Look for the trophy. Oh, wait a second. We we might actually be able to make it to class. It's it's back on truancy. We've got a, a bus stop right here. Let me hit the school bus back. Sometimes I feel like the missions pause time a little bit, which is nice. I'm not trying to miss class, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to... I'm trying to, you know, be better for my future. Here, you know what? Take me, sir. I know, I'm a bad boy. Spank me and take me to class, please. If you bust him, if you let him bust you. Oh, we got math here. This is my best subject in school, by far. Without a doubt. everyone's ready to learn something. This isn't English class, you know. The roast. All right, see what we got. Uh, three plus four is seven. Fifty equals 
5 plus 45. 6 times 6 is 36. How many triangles? We've got two. What is the smallest? Mosquito. 12 equals 20 minus 8. What is the biggest? Saturn. Which is the lowest? 203. 8 plus 3 is 11. 1 half is 0.5. Which is the slowest? The sloth. 120 is 3 times 40. 7 minus 5 is 2. Which is the fastest? Probably a dump truck? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I got it. 11 times 9 is 99. 12 plus question is 21. 9. 35 equals 7 times 5. Which is the fastest? The rocket ship. How many squares? That's 5 squares. 0.5 times 34 is 17. 15 minus 6 is 9. Which is the fastest? A race car. 0.5 equals 1 half. Which is the tallest? The pyramids. Which is the highest? Uh, 79. 7 plus 3 is 10. 24 equals 12 times 2. That's enough for today. Good work. We'll take it. I hope I didn't get one of those wrong, because I'd be really embarrassed to, oh, to not get it perfect on There's Math 1 and, and Bully. That would uh, that'd be a little bit embarrassing. All right, so on to our next mission here. Dude, I, I honestly, I love this game. I am having so much fun with this game. Well, we, I think we, do we have a mission? We have a mission across town or we have a mission upstairs in the school. So let's go, let's go do this one since we're closer. I'm seriously having so much fun with this game though. Like, it, thank you guys that told me to play it. Weed killer. Hello? You. With our boy, biology don't teacher. Just stand there. Come and help. What do you want, sir? Why did you send for me? I sent for you? Oh, yes, I did. Look at that plant, boy. Magnificent, isn't it? It's a big Venus flytrap. A crapula maxima fortissima. Is this a real thing? I don't a think it's a rare and precious Venus flytrap. I don't know what a flytrap is, but not one that big. There is a boy at this school. Darby Harrington, who was given such a plant from his father. His father is not a nice man. Darby is not a nice boy. They keep that plant to belittle my collection. There are two sides to biology, boy. Living and death. Life and death. Called it. Do I make myself clear? Very clear, sir. You want me to kill Darby Harrington? <sighs> yeah, I'll get right on that. Not the boy, boy! The plant, boy! Kill the plant! Oh, right. You know what's really sad is that Venus flytraps, they have a certain number of times that they can close and eat and stuff. What the fudge? Bro, what is wrong with you? That is disgusting. I'm, I'm gonna take a wide berth around that. Gotta go disguise ourselves as a prep. Good thing we've got our, our Argyle sweater vest that we can wear. But um, fly traps, oh shoot, don't wanna skate down the stairs. It's not a good idea. We saw that in the last episode. They uh, they can only like close a certain number of times in their life. Basically every time they close, they get closer to death. So like, you know, if you stick a pencil in one like some people do or like put your finger in it and whatever else, you're essentially killing the plants in, in, a, in a way, which is kind of sad to think about because that's the coolest thing about them. So anyway, we are going to go ahead and put, uh, let's put this, this uh, aquaberry vest on there. Go ahead and confirm. Get a haircut from the salon and old Bullworth Vale. Oh, shoot. We're going to have to get a, a rich kid haircut too. Do we still have a bike over here? No. Nope. Need to... Need to get a bike we can keep with us at all times. I feel like our our, our board is pretty sick though. We ain't we ain't no BMXer, bro. We're a hardcore skateboarder. Can I hit people off their bikes? Hold on a second. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the dude here. We're not buds, bro. I'm out of here. <laughs> I love it. I don't know if that actually affects my reputation, but I'll take it. All right. Time to ride our. Uh, Right our way into town here. We literally just got the fade the other day. I, I, I don't think we chose the fade. I think we chose something else. But we just got it the other day, and now we're going to have to change it up. I don't know if I'm stoked about that, but I guess it's uh, it's all a part of what we got to do. Look at that. That, that was sick. Fade. What you want? 
Okay. What do I need to get? The good boy? $12 for this baloney. Don't forget Maria now. Into the Harrington house disguised as a prep. All right. Let me go ahead and grab my bike here. The Harrington house is going to be back over on the other side of town, back by the school. Let's get after it. So it looks like, is this is this house going to be on school grounds? It kind of kind of looks like it's on school grounds here. Yeah, we're going to go out and then we bang a left. Is it in the Harrington house? Hmm. Okay. Haven't been over here yet, so this should be interesting. Always down to explore, uh... Number one contender. Looking sharp. Nice shirt. Is that Aquaberry? Yes, it is, bro. Find the prized plant and destroy it. Shoot. So this is like the, the preppy house. This is like their, uh... Kind of like their, their uh, whatever, you, fraternity or whatever else. It's up on the second story, it said, but I don't know how to get to it. We're going to have to go out and around. Yeah, we got to go out and around. They're playing poker. They got night sets and cool. I mean, this looks like a pretty cool spot, I'm not going to lie. It says it's still upstairs, so we're going to go up top here on the roof. In through here, and look at that! That giant, beautiful specimen. Use the poison to destroy the plants. So we'll go ahead and grab this poison. And now we've got to destroy the plant. How is it? What do you, you just need me to stand close? We're just gonna stand all the way up against the thing. I was gonna say, we're, we're like hitting this thing pretty bad and it's not doing anything. This, okay, this, uh, if you want me to be honest, this makes me really sad. Like that, that is like a, a very rare, a very rare point plant there and we, we just absolutely destroyed it. Okay. Get out of the Harrington house, it says. Come on, boys. Where are you at? You gonna go up these stairs? Oh, nope. They're gonna throw eggs because that's all they can do. Those wimps. We get through here? Nope. We can't get through there. Okay. Well, how are we gonna get out of here then? I hate when it does this. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta fight these dudes. We gotta fight these dudes, I'm pretty sure. I've already beat you guys once. Sure, you probably remember it, or maybe you don't, because I knocked a few of you out the first time. There we go. Oh, we just gotta break the stuff. I like it. Oh, you can just break doors. I didn't know that. I'm out of here, bro. I'm not. I'm not fighting anybody. I'm a pacifist. Let me. Let me destroy all this stuff too. How do we get out of here? It looks. Ooh. Oh, we. We just had to. We had to fight him. Okay. It's a good thing we've been practicing all of our fighting moves because we're really kind of kicking some of these guys butts can I, can I kick your couch nope that's a big boy try to try to break that thing whatever I'm out of here <laughs> just trying to do damage as I leave I'm such a little asshole we'll take it 30 bucks and a pass baby all right Call that a wrap. Call that a wrap. So it looks like our next mission is going to be back in town, back at the, uh, back at the store. So we're going to hop on this bike that we commandeered earlier in the episode, and, uh, let's get on our merry way. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Think I'm dumb? <laughs> Who's dumb now? I'm dumb, I'm dumb, real dumb. <laughs> hey, hey, kid, hey, kid, help me out, please. Easy, Russell. <laughs> calm down, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Sit. We got wrestle on a wrestle on a you, leash, baby. You. Jeez, that dumb kid's really strong. Dumb. Hey, be good. No, be good. Not you, Einstein. Not you. So, how did everything work out with those eggs? Not like I was hoping. Never trust a rich kid. Too bad. Too bad. Was it that jerk, Tad? <laughs> you know, his parents are at a party at my boss's house right now. If you wanted a revenge thing, now would be a good time. I guess I'll need some more eggs then. Ah, yes. You got it. Thanks. Come on, Russell. We've got a house call to make. Russell's a good friend to have, baby. We keep him on a tight leash. Here we go. Go to Tad's house. Did Russell just take... Dude, he... Oh, that's his bike. I was going to say, he just take my bike, but no. That was that was his bike. So we got some eggs on the house for saving that dude. Come on, Russell. Let's race, bro. Where are you at? We got to take a right here, homie. I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's he's going a different way. I'm, I'm going to go up this way. I think this, this is probably a... A bit faster as far as I'm concerned. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see uh, see who ends up getting there first. But uh, yeah, we got some free eggs on the house. 
And now it's gonna be time to extract our revenge, baby. Like there might be a, a cop out front of the house or something. Oh no, that's Russell, he's already here. And there's a cop. Alright. Throw an egg through every open window. There we go. So we got the first one there. Let's go ahead and uh, and see see what we got here. We gotta watch out for the uh, the drop. You gotta aim a little bit high. I know you're out there. Beautiful. Those two are down. We got three more over here on the other side. And this is so ridiculous. Good job, Russell. Russell's just taking care of business over there. All right, so we've got uh, we've got one here. Kobe. Let's see if we can. Oh no. We need a, a stronger arm than that, Jimmy. Nice. We got him there. And then there's one final one right up here. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Now it's gonna be time to get out of here. Looks like these guys are upset. Get out of Tad's yard. Let's just uh, let's go ahead and walk out the front door and we've, we've passed, baby. Are you kidding me right now? Do you really know who you're talking to? Your boy just okay. There's two of them. There's two. I'm I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I hit him in the face with the negative. I'm gone. There's like three or four of them. Okay, we're gone. We're gonna be fine. Looks like we've got another mission. It's gonna be down by the docks. Let's go do it. It's gonna say you you you're trying to throw hands with the the MVP red winner of the boxing championships from yesterday. But uh, if it's if it's that many on one, I don't think we're gonna be able to take them on. So tired of these rich kids, dude. I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to put an end to this disgusting group. Looks like we've got a classmate out here looking for a handout, but I'm gonna take a look at our next mission, the boxing challenge. Here we go. So how do I do it, Pete? Do what? Beat those rich kids into submission. Well, what have you tried so far? Random violence, widespread destruction, gratuitous sadism. No, no, that's not gonna work. They get all that kind of stuff at home. Now what you gotta do is you gotta beat one of them publicly. You gotta prove to them you're better than their best man. Why don't you box that dumb jerk Biff? Not bad, Pete. Not bad at all. All right. See you around. Wait, Jimmy, can I come too? For sure, bro. You know what? Don't worry about it. Or not. I don't care if you come hang out, homie. Go to the boxing club. So we're gonna go call out their biggest, baddest, Brawler and we're gonna make sure that they know what place they have in this town, baby Let's do it time to prove ourselves Jimbo Look at them. They're already they're already mad at it. Nah fam. I ain't got time for you. I'm calling out the big boy of the group You and me Biff you and me what you and me the noble art of boxing may the best man win And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about Anytime, Popper. Of course, the best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. This is it. I mean, this dude looks like he's he's pretty big, bro. I'm not gonna lie. He's, he's got some cannons there for sure. We just we gotta we gotta make sure we're smart about this. Ooh. We like glitched through him there. So much nice. Better, you know? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Those combos are key, bro. Oh, shoot. He got us there. He got us there. We're fine. Get after him with the combos. Okay. So, honestly, we lost the first round, but we're, we're going to be fine. We're going to get a bit of uh, a bit of health back here. We're going to come right back at him. Here we go. So, we're going to be smart. Dude, the thing is... You can't be uh you, you can't be too too enthusiastic like you, you can't go swinging for the fences you just gotta you gotta like these singular hits at a time we just gotta take them he was a bit off off balance there I can't believe we weren't able to we need more of these combos bro those combos but sometimes they just aren't there the sooner you start hitting him after he takes uh he takes a big swing the better off we are but sometimes it's just it's it's just not there bro. Time's up. Definitely won that second round. 
We're both gonna gain, gain back some health here. We're back in the green. He's down in the yellow. He's down around like, you know, 65, 70%, something like that. I'm gonna try, we're, we're gonna dodge, and then we're gonna do the hold punch. And we'll do like a, a big wind up uppercut every time. That, that does some good some good work there. He just had a dirty a dirty hit after the round was over. Biff is going down, bro. Round four, here we go. I don't know how many rounds we have to knock this dude out, but uh, I'm hoping we're I'm hoping we're close. Oh, he's hurting, dude. He's hurting. That's what I'm talking about. We got him in this round, Trev. Shoot. Knock him out. There it is. Round four, KO. Looking like KSI versus Logan Paul out Who's here, baby. Who's the baddest? Me. Who's the toughest? Me. Who's the man? Me. Me, losers. Me. The champion. Okay. Number one. I killed the best. I will beat the rest. Yeah. What have we got here? That Something poor about kid just beat up Biff. He's our new it. champion. What? He is That's the right. new champion. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Woo! You disgust me. Being like <sighs> kind and It takes and more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat. Gentlemen, are we going to let some gutter snipe come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! Then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! <laughs> yeah! Dude, this is so inappropriate, like, especially with current day events, this is just so messed up. Alright, so we're, we've got to defeat Derby here, we're gonna have to go through his entire posse. Nope, no big deal at all. Oh, look at that, homie, homie didn't even know what hit him. I don't know, can you... I'm not sure that you can, like, dodge and, and, and stuff in the normal fights, I think you only have block and hit. And you got the bitch slap. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Looks like little little scared girl here ran upstairs. What's up, bro? Try to try to do the reverse the reverse leg sweep here. Shoot. I really want to I really want to bring him in here. He doesn't let me. There it is, the leg sweep. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I was looking for. Now we're gonna go in here, and it looks like this might be our funnel. Rich, hiding behind your friends. I'm leveraging the assets I have, and you don't. Friends, just shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you, poor boy. Shoot. Shoot. Okay, there's there's three of them, bro. I'm an excellent boxer. This is this is this is not fair at all. I don't really know how to handle this. I don't I don't know what to do. He's he's knocked me out pretty good here. I'm gonna throw some eggs at him. I'm just gonna hit him with my slingshot, bro. Oh, the the big oh shoot. The if you charge it up, the big hits do more. The big hits do more. <laughs> this is the nerdiest way to fight, but whatever, dude. If it gets the job done. I, I don't think I'd be able to beat him straight up, to be honest. So we're just We're just gonna hit him with our slingshot. We're gonna use our our, our advantage to our benefit here. He's, uh, he's definitely hurting. He's getting up in our face. Got him. <laughs> Little kick at the end just to rub it in a bit. I thought we were getting beat there, if you want me to be honest. Who's the boss now? I can't hear you, rich kids. Who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Uh, Answer the question. You are. Louder. You are. Uh, That's right. Me. Now you girls learn to play nice, you understand? So do we just conquer an entire like demographic in the school now, here? Now is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. All right, so I guess so we're just gonna go through the hierarchy yourself? here. You taught those rich scum a lesson? They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. 
They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. Tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. All right, so we've taken down the preppy rich kids. We've got the greasers. We've got the jocks. We've got a couple other clicks to go through here, but uh, we are starting on our road to world domination. So hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you guys are loving this series. Thank you guys for all of your support, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for our next episode. Peace out.